This is the Psyche revived by Cupid's Kiss, a marble statue from the neoclassical era which was commissioned in 1787 and created by Antonio Canova. The story behind the sculpture is of a woman named Psyche and her curiosity. Psyche was ordered by Venus to visit the underworld and bring back a flask, but was told not to open it. However, she couldn't contain her curiosity and disobeyed. Upon opening the flask, she inhaled the terrible fumes that were within and fell into a deep sleep. Antonio Canova is considered the greatest sculptor of his time. He was born in 1757 in the Italian village of Passagno. It is a region that is significant to many residents of Griffith, where around half of the population were born in Italy or are descended from Italian migrants. Antonio Canova's father was a stonecutter, as was his grandfather, who would take care of the boy after 1762 when his mother remarried. So, to celebrate Valentine's Day next week, I'm actually going to do a live painting of Cupid and Psyche. Um, so this is a famous one. Uh, it's at the Louvre Museum. It's crazy. Beauty is a curse, Psyche thought, as she looked over the cliff's edge where she'd been abandoned by her father. She'd been born with a physical perfection so complete that she was worshipped as a new incarnation of Venus, the goddess of love. But real-life human lovers were too intimidated even to approach her. When her father asked for guidance from the Oracle of Apollo, the god of light, reason, and prophecy, he was told to abandon his daughter on a rocky crag, where she would marry a cruel and savage, serpent-like, winged evil. Alone on the crag, Psyche felt Zephyr, the west wind, gently lifting her into the air. 